Hello ladies and gentlemen in this video we are going to cover the most important current affairs questions from 10th of January to 16th of January one more thing for mobile optimized ebooks you can install GK Today Academy app so now let's start which state is set to conduct a dedicated state level adalat for lgbt community so for the first time kerala state youth commission has announced that it would conduct a state level adalat for lgbt community and this program would be held at the capital of kerala that is tiruvananthapuram and the main objective of this adalat is to encourage transgender community to come out with their grievances so that the government can take initiative for the redressal of their issues so right answer is kerala the union external affairs minister recently launched a book pax sinica the implications for indian down who is the author of book right answer is mr samir saran actually this book was in news recently as union external affairs minister mr s jay shankar launched this book pax sinica this book is authored by mr samir saran and co-authored by mr akhil dev which city is set to host the international level event milan in march 2020 right answer is visakhapatnam so milan is a multilateral naval exercise and it is going to be in visakhapatnam in march 2020 manmad and busawal railway stations where artificial intelligence based facial recognition technology was recently installed belongs to which state of india so recently indian railways installed artificial intelligence based facial recognition technology in manmad and busawal stations of maharashtra and bengaluru station of karnataka so right answer is maharashtra these two railway stations are associated to maharashtra the highest railway bridge in the world is to be constructed in which state or union territory right answer is jammu and kashmir so as a part of major udhampur sirinagar baramula rail link project a new railway bridge is to be constructed and this bridge is in newly formed union territory of jammu and kashmir and it is going to be the world's highest railway bridge vishu hindi divas or world hindi day is celebrated every year on which date right answer is 10th of january so vishu hindi divas or world hindi day is celebrated every year on 10th of january who has been recently chosen for muppa varappu venkaiya naidu national award for excellence right answer is ms swaminathan so the father of green revolution dr ms swaminathan was selected for muppa varappu venkaiya naidu national award for excellence which state assembly has recently adopted a new logo for its legislative assembly which consists of fox tail orchid so recently Arunachal Pradesh has adopted a new logo for its legislative assembly and this new logo consists of national emblem and the state flower of Arunachal Pradesh foxtail orchid A cluster of institutions in which states Ayurveda University is to get the status of institutes of national importance so recently union cabinet approved to confer the status of institution of national importance to a cluster of ayurvedic institutions in gujarat in ayurved university campus in jamnagar who has been recently chosen for muppavarappu venkaiya naidu national award for social service right answer is dr gutta maniratnam so recently dr gutta maniratnam has been selected for muppavarappu Venkaiya Naidu National Award for Social Service What is India's GDP growth rate for fiscal year 2020 as estimated by the World Bank So recently World Bank released Global Economic Prospectus report and as per this report India's growth rate is projected to accelerate to 5% in fiscal year of 2019 to 2020 and India's GDP is likely to have a growth rate of 5.8% in the following financial year so right answer is 
which Indian city is set to host the International Aviation Exhibition Wings India 2020? Right answer is Hyderabad. So International Conference Come Exhibition on Civil Aviation Sector is scheduled to be in Hyderabad in March 2020. And the name of this event is Wings India 2020. What is rank of Indian passport in recently released Hanley Passport Index? So recently Hanley Passport Index was released and as per that India is on 84th position. So India's rank is 84 and it is 2 rank above that of last year. Which is the world's fastest growing city in terms of population according to recent Economist Intelligence Unit report? Right answer is Malapuram. So recently EIU that is Economist Intelligence Unit released a report based on the data provided by United Nations Population Division. And as per this report, Malapuram, a city in North Kerala, topped the list. That means it is world's fastest growing city in terms of population. KFW, a German development bank, will assist which Indian state to develop its zero budget natural farming. So it is Andhra Pradesh and Andhra Pradesh government will receive loan for expansion of zero budget natural farming from this German development bank KFW. Recently, the Election Commission of India renewed the Memorandum of Understanding on Electoral Cooperation with which country? Right answer is Mauritius. So recently, the Election Commission of India renewed the Memorandum of Understanding on Electoral Cooperation with Mauritius. And this MOU was signed by the Chief Election Commissioner of India, Mr. Sunil Arora. Which digital payment company has launched unified QR code for merchants for unlimited payments? Right answer is Paytm. So recently, Paytm has launched an all-in-one QR code for merchants for unlimited payments. Which state has recently launched the scheme called Amma Vodi to provide a financial assistance to the mothers of school-going children? So right answer is Andhra Pradesh. So Andhra Pradesh government launched this scheme Amma Vodi. And as per the scheme, a financial assistance of rupee 15,000 will be provided to the mothers or guardians of school going children to educate them. Which bank has recently launched a customized application set for banking products named My Apps? So, it is an initiative by SDFC Bank. And SDFC Bank has recently launched this customized group of banking products called My Apps. What is the name of India's first indigenous aircraft carrier which is being built at Cochin? Right answer is Vikrant. So India's first indigenous aircraft carrier Vikrant is being manufactured at Cochin Sipyard and this is expected to be commissioned by early 2021. The Union Home Minister Mr. Amit Shah recently released a book titled Karam Yodha Granth on the life of which Indian political leader? Right answer is Mr. Narendra Modi. So recently, Home Minister Mr. Amit Shah released a book titled Karam Yodha Granth and it is based on the life of present Indian Prime Minister. Which Union Ministry is set to launch a program for development of Eastern states and the name of this program is Purvode. So recently, Union Ministry of Steel announced a program called Purvode. And it is a program for accelerated development of eastern region through integrated steel hub. And the present Minister for Ministry of Steel is Mr. Dharmendra Pradhan. The Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports is to organize the 23rd National Youth Festival in Lucknow. Now it is celebrated to commemorate the birthday of which famous personality? Right answer is Swami Vivekanand Sudha. Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports is going to organize National Youth Festival from 12th of January to 16th of January and it will be organized in Uttar Pradesh. The festival is organized to commemorate the birth anniversary of Swami Vivekananda. The first in-depth review of India's energy policies was recently released by which organization? Right answer is International Energy Agency. So recently IEA released this first ever in-depth review of India's energy policies. Which state government recently announced to prepare 
special textbooks for children with learning disabilities so recently state government of uttar pradesh announced that special textbook would be prepared for children who have learning disabilities the freedom of speech and freedom to carry on a business through internet is covered under which article of indian constitution so it is covered under article 19 of indian constitution and recently supreme court declared that freedom of speech and expression and freedom to carry on a business through internet is a constitutional right under article 19 the report titled national strategy for financial inclusion was recently released by which organization so recently a report related to the strategy of financial inclusion was released by rbi that is reserve bank of india who has been recently named as the new sultan of oman right answer is haitham bin tariq so recently the ruler of oman and one of the longest serving ruler in middle east countries sultan qaboos bin said passed away the biennial global pulses conference named the pulses conclave 2020 is to be held in which state so it is going to be in maharashtra and this conference is going to be in february 2020 the state energy efficiency index was recently released by which organization so recently bwe that is bureau of energy efficiency in association with alliance for energy efficiency economy released this state energy efficiency index chidanand murthy who passed away recently was a veteran scholar in which language so mr murthy was a veteran scholar of kannada language and he passed away recently recently rbi amended its kyc norms to allow which type of authentication so right answer is video based authentication kyc stands for know your customer so recently rbi allowed a video based authentication as an alternative method of e kyc norms which state government recently sanctioned money for the proposed aswakulla khan geological garden so recently uttar pradesh government approved the funding for a new geological garden in gorakhpur and it will be named after our freedom fighter mr ashfaqullah khan sdfc has completed the acquisition of majority stake in which private insurance company recently right answer is apollo munich apollo munich health insurance so recently sdfc and its subsidiary sdfc ago got the approvals of cci cci stands for competition commission of india the union home minister recently launched a center named i4c in new delhi now the center is associated to which sector right answer is cyber crime so recently union home minister mr amit shah launched i4c center in new delhi i4c stands for indian cyber crime coordination center drdo's novel variant of lca that is light combat aircraft made its first successful landing on which aircraft carrier of indian navy so recently after extensive trials the novel variant of lca made its first successful landing on aircraft carrier ins vikramaditya this lca that is light combat aircraft is developed by drdo which indian entrepreneur come investor recently acquired the dhfl general insurance company so recently the co-founder of flipkart mr sachin bansal acquired the dhfl general insurance company he bought this company from wadhwa group of companies for 100 crore rupees the prime minister of india recently renamed which port trust to dr shama prashad mukherjee port so recently prime minister of india attended the 150th celebration of kolkata port trust and during this event he announced that this kolkata port trust would be renamed as dr shama prashad mukherjee port which city plays host to the annual world energy summit of 2020 so world energy summit recently started in abu dhabi abu dhabi is the capital of uae and dubai is its largest city and the theme of this 
2020 edition of the summit is Rethinking Global Consumption, Production and Investment. Union Minister Smriti Rani recently launched a welfare scheme named Yasaswini from Goa. So the question is, what does the scheme aim at? So recently, Ms. Smriti Rani launched a scheme named Yasaswini from Goa and it is a scheme for women empowerment. Which state has recently started an awareness campaign for farmers to protect their sugarcane crop from locust? So recently, Department of Cane Development of Uttar Pradesh government started an awareness campaign to protect farmers and to protect their crops from locust. An international film festival with the theme of better film, better audience and better society was recently inaugurated in which city? Right answer is Dhaka. So it was inaugurated in the capital of Bangladesh, Dhaka. And the theme is better film, better audience and better society. Who will participate in interaction program with students named Pariksha Pe Charcha scheduled for year 2020? So Prime Minister Mr. Modi will participate in this interaction program with students named Pariksha Pe Charcha and this is going to be in New Delhi on 20th of January. The workshop and exhibition on bamboo, a wonder grass was recently held in which state or union territory. So recently this workshop and exhibition held in union territory of Jammu and Kashmir and the workshop focused on the growth of bamboo industry in Jammu and Kashmir along the lines of northeast region. What is a shopper? which was sometimes seen in news recently. So recently, Casper Sky Lab made an announced about the malware named Shopper. So the malware is said to randomly increase the ratings of some popular e-commerce websites. Which Indian cricketer won the best male international cricketer award of BCCI named Poli Umrigar Award? So recently, Mr. Jaspreet Bumra and Ms. Poona Miyadav was selected for the prestigious Poli Umrigar Award for the Best International Cricketer in the Male and Female category. Which country recently launched a driverless bullet train with the speed of up to 350 km per hour? So recently, China launched a driverless bullet train and the speed is up to 350 km per hour. The Australian government recently announced that which animal could be declared as an endangered species. So recently, Australian government announced that it could place koala in endangered species category. And this announcement was made after the devastating bush fires in Australia. Which country won the inaugural ATP Cup 2020 tournament that held at Sydney? So recently Serbia won it. Actually the team representing Serbia defeated the team of Spain in this inaugural ATP Cup 2020 tennis tournament. In which city the Union Home Minister launched India's first cyber crime prevention unit called Cyber Aswast. So we have already discussed this question. It was inaugurated by Union Home Minister Mr. Amit Shah and it was inaugurated in Gandhinagar in Gujarat and this Aswast stands for Assured Assistance Service Helpline for Victims at Shortest Time. Sai Ingwen was recently elected as the president of which country? So recently Ms. Sai Ingwen got re-elected as the president of Taiwan and she gained significance as she firmly announced that she is going to protect the sovereignty of Taiwan from China. Which national park recorded 96 unique species of wetland birds? So according to second wetland bird count, the Kanjiranga National Park recorded 96 unique species of wetland birds. What is the deadline to separate roles of chairman and MD in top 500 companies as per the recent directions of SEBI? Recently, SEBI that is Securities and Exchange Board of India issued notification regarding the deadline to separate roles of chairman and MD in top 
500 listed companies. Which Indian monument has found place in the Shanghai Cooperation Organization Eight Wonders of SCO list? So recently, the Statue of Unity was included in Eight Wonders of SCO list. SCO stands for Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Statue of Unity is the tallest statue of Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel. It is 182 meter statue. Who has recently been appointed as the new Director General of CRPF, that is Central Reserve Police Force? So recently, ACC, that is Appointments Committee of Cabinet, appointed Mr. A. P. Maheswari as the new DG of CRPF. CRPF is under M. H. A. Which famous international money transfer company recently partnered with Abix Cash to expand its presence in Indian market? So recently, international money transfer company MoneyGram and Abix Cash signed an agreement to expand their business in India. Which is the first Indian airport to get disabled aircraft recovery equipment? That is Dare. So the Kempegowda International Airport in Bengaluru is first Indian airport to be with the capability of recovering disabled aircraft. Which company recently announced to offer guidance to tech startup companies from five Indian states? So recently, Microsoft has announced that it has selected tech startup companies from five states, and these startup companies. Was selected through a competition, and the name of this competition was Emerge X. On which date Armed Forces Veterans Day is celebrated across India? So it is celebrated on 14th of January every year to commemorate the retirement date of first Indian Chief of Army Staff K M Kariyappa. Which badminton player recently won the Malaysian Masters title? So recently, Kento Momota from Japan defeated Victor Axelsen and won the Malaysian Masters title. The Vice President of India is to inaugurate the Centre of Excellence for Studies of which Indian language in Nellore. So the Vice President of India, Mr. Naidu, is to inaugurate the Centre of Excellence for Studies in Classical Telugu in Nellore. The communication satellite of ISRO GSAT-30 is scheduled to launch abroad through which vehicle? Right answer is Ariane 5. So GSAT-30 is a communication satellite and it will be launched using Ariane 5 launch vehicle and it will be launched from French Guiana. The government of India recently signed a memorandum of understanding for content exchange program between All India Radio and National Broadcaster of which country? So recently, MOU was signed between India and Bangladesh for content exchange program between All India Radio of India and National Broadcaster of Bangladesh. This Raisina dialogue is jointly organized by Ministry of External Affairs and with which Think Tank of India. So it is ORF, ORF that is Observer Research Foundation and MEA. Organize this Raisina dialogue and this dialogue held in New Delhi. Who is the author of book titled Asha and the Spirit Bird, which recently won the UK Children's Book Award? So it is a book by Jasbinder Bilan. Jasbinder Bilan is an Indian-born author who is now settled in England. The Indian Navy recently revised its fuel standards to bring down. its carbon footprint by conducting a study with which indian oil and gas company so recently indian navy conducted an extensive study in collaboration with iocl that is indian oil corporation limited for a reduced carbon footprint which state has launched amma youth sports scheme so recently the chief minister of tamil nadu mr e k palani swami launched this Amma Youth Sports Scheme, and the scheme aims at identifying youth talents in villages and providing them appropriate training so that they can take part in high-level sport events. 
Sahyog Kaizin is an annual joint exercise between the Coast Guards of India and which country? So, it is annual joint exercise between the Coast Guards of India and Japan. Japan is the host of this year, 2020 Summer Olympic Games. Which state was recently awarded as the best performing state in reducing road accidents in road safety stakeholders meet? So, recently, Road Safety Stakeholders Meet was organized in New Delhi and during this meeting, Defense Minister Mr. Rajnath Singh presented the Best Performing State in Reducing Road Accidents Award to State of Tamil Nadu. The meetings of IDA that is Island Development Agency are chaired by which Union Minister? So right answer is Home Minister. Recently, the sixth meeting of IDA held and it was chaired by Union Home Minister, Mr. Amit Shah. Kaifi Azmi, whose birth anniversary was recently observed, was a famous personality of which field? So, Mr. Kaifi Azmi was a famous Indian Urdu poet and songwriter. Who is the first women parade adjutant for the Republic Day Parade in India? So, Captain Tanya Sergil will be the first woman to become the Republic Day Parade Adjutant. It means she will be the officer responsible for the parade and she is an officer of Indian Army's Corps of Signals. On which date Indian Army Day is celebrated across India every year? So every year on 15th of January Indian Army Day is celebrated. Which bank has recently signed a memorandum of understanding with South Central Railway Zone of Indian Railways for doorstep collection of earnings from the railway station. So recently, a memorandum of understanding was signed between South Central Railways and State Bank of India for the doorstep collection of earnings from railway stations. India recently provided nearly 1 lakh academic textbooks to which country to assist its development in higher education and research. So recently, Indian Ambassador for Madagascar, Mr. Abhay Kumar, handed over nearly 1 lakh academic textbook to Madagascar for assisting its development in higher education and research. Which cricketer won the Sir Garfield Sobers Trophy for the Player of Year presented by ICC, that is International Cricket Council. So recently, ICC presented these annual awards and the Sir Garfield Sobers Trophy for Player of Year was given to Mr. Ben Stokes. Which company has recently announced to invest $1 billion to digitize the small and medium businesses in our country? So recently, Mr. Jeff Bezos, the head of Amazon, announced that the company is going to invest $1 billion to digitize the small and medium businesses in India. Which organization release SR report that is annual status of education report in our country? So it is released by an NGO named Pratham. NGO stands for non-governmental organization. Which global telecommunication company's arm has recently launched a new privacy focused search engine called OneSearch? So recently Verizon Media has launched a new privacy focused search engine called OneSearch. Now this search engine claims that the search history of the user will not be stored and it will be self-destructible search data. Eminent filmmaker and director Mr. Manmohan Mohapatra passed away recently. He was from which state of India? So he was from Odisha and he was a prominent filmmaker from Odisha and Sita Rati was the first full-fledged Odia film which he directed in 1976. The district administration of which state has won the Swachta Darpan award for adopting innovative methods in plastic waste management. So recently, district administration of Puri in Odisha won the Swachta Darpan award for adopting innovative methods in plastic waste management. The integrated road accident database that is IRAD was recently launched 
at the road safety stakeholders meet and the question is it has been developed by which institution so recently union ministers mr rajnath singh and mr nitin gadkari launched this irad during road safety stakeholders meet and this meet held in delhi robert abela was recently elected as the prime minister of which country right answer is malta so recently robert abela was elected as the prime minister of malta the previous prime minister of malta was mr joseph muscat tal volcano which was seen in news recently is situated in which country so recently the second most active volcano philippines was in news it is tal volcano and it is located on the luzon island the retail inflation rose to a 5 year high of 7.35% in december 2019 now the question is which organization releases the retail inflation figures so retail inflation is measured by cpi that is consumer price index and the cpi is released by nso nso is national statistical office the india meteorological department recently celebrated its 145th foundation day imd functions under which union ministry so imd functions under ministry of earth sciences and recently on 15th of january it celebrated its 145th foundation day an annual one month long campaign called saksham is set to be launched by union minister mr dharmendra pradhan now this campaign is about right answer is fuel conservation so this campaign is by pcra that is petroleum conservation research association the indian prime minister recently participated in the 50th anniversary of thugluk magazine of which language so it is a magazine of tamil language and prime minister of india participated in this event through video conferencing mcdonalds india recently inked a partnership deal with which food delivery platform right answer is zomato so recently mcdonalds india signed a partnership deal with zomato the first girder of mega project mthl was recently launched and after completion it will be the longest sea bridge in india now the question is where mthl is situated so it is situated in maharashtra and recently maharashtra chief minister mr uddhav thakre launched this first girder for mthl that is mumbai trans harbor link where is the institute of liver and biliary sciences located right answer is new delhi so this institute is located in new delhi and it is autonomous institute established by the government of india so these were the most important questions thank you and that's all for the day